may live as brothers and sisters of one family. Amen. This Holy Mass is sponsored in loving memory of Mr. Wilfred Curé on his first death anniversary. One year ago the angels took you home to Jesus. Lonely is the road I travel now without you beside me. The vacant chair, the empty bed brings tears to my eyes still. Though it broke my heart to let you go, for I wanted you to stay to walk, talk and laugh again like we did for 57 years. With love and gratitude, wife Rani, children and their families. This Holy Mass is also sponsored in loving memory of Joe Pereira. Deep in our hearts you will always stay loved and remembered every day. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Fondly remembered by his wife, Sriya, children and grandchildren. The Sunday Holy Mass will be telecast live from the Verbum TV Chapel, Tevatta. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today is the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Word of the Lord invites us to put our life even with the suffering in following of Christ. And today, as we offer this sacrifice, let us, the vigor and strength of the Lord, even to follow Him with suffering, pain and difficulty, to be faithful to Him, thus to take part in this sacrifice worthily, 
Let's now acknowledge all our sins and ask the good Lord for mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on Amen. earth peace to people Amen. of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to the smiters, and my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. For the Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare my guilty? The word of God. Thanks be to God. Your response. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord In the land of the living I will walk in the presence of the Lord In the land of the living I love the Lord for He has heard the cry of my appeal For he turned his ear to me In 
Takes the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. He has kept my soul from the tears. My eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the. reading from the letter of St. James. What does it profit, my brethren, if a man says he has faith but has not works? Can his faith save him? If a brother or sister is ill-clad and in lack of daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body. What does it profit? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I by my works will show you my faith. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Acclamation.
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left for the villages round Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he put this question to his disciples. Who do people say I am? And they told him, John the Baptist. They said, others Eliah, others again one of the prophets. But you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter spoke up and said to him, you are the Christ. And he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone about him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man was destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and to be put to death, and after three days to rise again. And he said all this quite openly. Then, taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. But, turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. He called the people and his disciples to him and said, If... Anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as we are on the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time, the Gospel today, Gospel of St. Mark, focus us, or leads us into two great characters. First, Jesus himself. Secondly, Peter. Jesus really wanted to know what people say that he is. And the disciples replied, they say that you are John the Baptist, that you are a liar, and you are one of the prophets. But he really wanted his own people being with him and walking with him and listening to him what they say. And there was a character who always comes forward. It was Peter. And Peter said, You are the Christ. He really stuck to the main character in Jesus, that you are the Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah. And this is where he is. But, when Jesus started explaining to them what type of Christ what type of Messiah that he is? He is to suffer. He is to be rejected by many. The priests, the elders, the chief. And he is to die. Then, Peter cannot bear the character that he really has seen being Christ. He wanted a Christ 
to be a glorious one. To be one who are full of miracles and who is full of work and who is really a king. Not servant type, not rejecting type, but glorious one. And this is where Jesus says to Peter, you get behind me. You Satan for me at this moment. So Peter, who is very close to him, who really declared Jesus as the Christ, now for Jesus, somebody who in the hand of devil, and I think with this we are to think of our own lives. And with what Jesus tells us, we have to think of our own living. Now when we are really Christians, we always pray for what? Blessings. We always want what? The graces for improvement. The graces for getting more and more and our life is best being a disciple of Jesus receiving more for life more for comfort more for happiness and we always reject suffering and pain we do not want to get it into ourselves even if it is given, we try to avoid it. And we ask, what type of Lord you are? And this is where the Satan enters into our life. This is where the evil starts working in ourself. As it started working in Peter. Just to mislead Jesus in this real understanding of Christ. So my dear brothers and sisters, let's as the word of God gives us today, really give ourselves to the Lord. Even in pain and suffering, we are called to be faithful. We may ask for blessings. We may ask for graces. He may give healing. But if he is not giving healing or grace, what is necessary? But he is there with us, with grace, to go with the suffering, to be a faithful servant, to live with fidelity. And this is where he says, take up the cross and follow me. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we live this week, and as we are in the world where we are really facing with lots of suffering, with corona epidemic, we find lots of difficulty for life. Living, our earnings are limited. Sometimes our essentials are not that much essentials today as with the time. Then how to live the word of the Lord tells us to take up the cross and follow me I am there so let's have that faith in ourselves give ourselves totally to the Lord and let's experience what a wonderful Lord we are following and he is there always and we will find a life right through because we are faithful with him in fidelity we live in Him and with Him. Amen. Let's all stand for the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
through God, from through God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, trusting in the love and mercy of God, now let us offer to the Lord our prayers and petitions. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all leaders in the Church. Grant them wisdom in addressing the wounds in the Church and guide them in renewing and restoring the community of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we pray for the Church that our profession of Jesus as the Christ may be manifest through sacrificial life, even to the point of laying down our lives in service for others and in allowing you to raise us to life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for the earliest end to the corona pandemic. Grant speedy recovery to those who are ill and spare their lives. Give hope and courage to members of their families to bear the cross with trust in you each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family who sponsored the broadcast of this Mass and for those participating in this Mass from their homes, that God will fill them with His grace and bless them abundantly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let us in silence, having deep faith, offer to the Lord our personal needs and the needs of our own families. God, our loving Father, we know what love you have for your children. In our trust for you, we offer to you all what we need in words and thoughts. Listen to these prayers and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all his wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith. and resurrection you have set us free you are the savior of the world therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm Ranjit our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph, us, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My dear brothers and sisters, we have our own pains, sufferings, difficulties these days. Let's raise all that to the Lord with the words that Jesus, our Savior, gave us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, you are present and alive in the most holy sacrament. At this moment, I am unable to receive you sacramentally. I desire you to come spiritually into my soul. O my Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of these heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We sincerely thank all the sponsors and their families who sponsored this live mass and pray that God will bless them abundantly. And to those who participated from their homes, may God bless you. And my dear brothers and sisters, tonight at 7.30, the live prayer service and adoration will be telecast. Please join in this prayer service and experience the love of Lord.
This Holy Mass was sponsored in loving memory of Mr. Wilfred Kure on his first death anniversary. One year ago, the angels took you home to Jesus. Lonely is the road I travel now without you beside me. The vacant chair, the empty bed brings tears to my eyes still. Though it broke my heart to let you go, for I wanted you to stay, to walk, talk and laugh again like we did for 57 years. With love and gratitude, wife Rani, children and their families. This Holy Mass was sponsored in loving memory of Joe Pereira. Deep in our hearts you will always stay, loved and remembered every day. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Fondly remembered by his wife, Sriya, children, and grandchildren. <laughs> 